What if my spouse is younger? Is that gonna affect the numbers? Well, let's look. Hey, my name is John Stevenson and welcome to the Guaranteed Retirement Guy Show. So today I wanna talk about the very best annuity for you if you are 65 years old. So 65 years old and you're thinking about potentially purchasing an annuity, maybe it's for accumulation, maybe it is, uh, maybe you just want to get the money out of the market, or maybe you're looking for guaranteed income and you want as much as possible for yourself. Maybe you're married and you want to make sure that that income continues to your wife or your spouse as well. So we're going to look at both of those scenarios and I'm going to show you exactly uh, what the best annuities are. And uh, so very, very uh, transparent. Um, I think that's key, that's important. And of course, you can check these out yourself on my website if you go to my annuity calculator on johnstevenson.com. I'm just gonna dive into this a little bit deeper uh, and hopefully this will be of some value to you. Okay, so you'll notice that I am sharing my screen and I am basing this off of a 65 year old out of Nevada, okay? And this is gonna be very similar to any other state. Most of these products are offered in every single state, okay? I'm basing this off of $500,000 of funding and I, I'm also assuming that this 65 year old is taking income next month. So they're gonna take income immediately. So they wanna put $500,000 in, and by the way, they are single, they're not married. I'll show you the married numbers right after this. So if they are single and they're 65 years old and they're taking income out, you can see the highest one right now is F and G, followed by North American, followed by Emeritas, and so on, okay? These are, if you're looking for top annual payouts, these are it. And you'll notice F and G is paying $39,650 a year guaranteed for the rest of your life. So that's pretty good. You take that out for uh, 30 years, you're gonna take out um, almost you know, $1.2 million. So that's pretty good income. Um, now what if you are married? And this is of course based off if you take income immediately. I'll talk about deferral right after this. So what if you're married? Well, I'm gonna click joint here. And then I'm going to just say your spouse is 65 as well, okay? And based off of that, you'll notice the income, it goes down a little bit, actually goes down to 35,700 because now the insurance company is, is on the hook for both of your lives. And they are assuming that the spouse is female. And females live longer, okay? A lot longer, um, usually four to five years longer. And so insurance companies know this and they know that they're gonna have to pay out longer and so the income is slightly less. But at the same time, if, uh, if, if the male were to pass away, at least he were to know that the female were, uh, was able to have uh, income that would never run out, okay? All right, so if you notice here, it shows all the different carriers, and they're all pretty darn close. I mean, 34,000, 35,700. Um, so, and that's if they take income immediately. What if my spouse is younger? Is that gonna affect the numbers? Well, let's look. Let's say she's five years younger than me. Well, so she's five years younger than me. Yeah, that brings the income down now to 31,750 because I'm 65, she's 60 years old. I might die at 90 and at 90, she's 85. They know she might live until she's 95. So they are on the hook for income for her after I die for as long as she lives. If she lives till she's 95, that's another 10 years. So keep that in mind. Now, what if she's older than me? Okay, let's take a look at that. We'll just kind of swing it up five years from 65. Let's say she's five years older than me. Well, she's five years older than me, then you'll notice that the income goes right back up to 35,700, okay? So it definitely helps um, uh, that my wife would be older in this case. All right, so let's say you're not 65 yet, but you want to take income at 65. You want to get as much income as possible but you got a few years. Maybe you've got an old 401k sitting um, with your company and you're still gonna stay employed until you're 65, but you want to access that account to give you as much guaranteed income as possible. Well, if you know the power of deferral, uh, especially with, uh, with annuities, uh, they grow over time. And so having that five-year growth period before you take income is crucial to getting more income. So I'm six years old right now, I have access to my 401k, or let's say it's an IRA. I'll bring my wife's age down to 60 as well. 
but I still want to take income at 65. Okay, so we're just, we're planning. Same $500,000. You notice that now the income goes up quite a bit. Now Aspida is the top choice, followed by Nationwide, Sentinel Security, and AIG, and all the rest of the other ones. So if you're looking for the highest, highest income, Aspida is going to pay you $50,000, 50400 per year. If you look at, uh, let's see what that looks like monthly. Monthly is $4,200 per month every year for the rest of your life and your spouse's life. That's pretty good. Um, okay, let's go back to, let's say I am single. Okay, I'm single, I'm 60, but I don't plan on taking income until I'm 65. So the income goes up another 5,000 per year. Wow, that's pretty good. So now, now you know, instead of 50 grand, I'm getting 55,000. And of course the insurance company knows they're only on the hook for my life. So if I, if I were to put $500,000 right now into an annuity and I were to wait to take income at age 65, I'm gonna take $55,000 out every single year for the rest of my life. And if I live 30 years, I'm gonna take a nice sizable amount, over $1.5 million during my lifetime. That's really good. If I live longer, which many of us are living longer, they're gonna keep paying out. So I have the peace of mind knowing that that money is never going to run out, okay? That's pretty big. Now, here's the nice thing about annuities, and I love this. I love this, because a lot of times people will fund an annuity and they're like, all right, I'm going to retire at this age, but, what if I decide to wait? What if I wait till I'm 66 or 67? I mean, my, my full retirement age for Social Security might be 67. And if it is, well, maybe I wanna wait till 67 because I wanna get higher Social Security. What if I wait till 67 for my annuity? I mean, do I have to take income in five years? No, of course not. Take income whenever you want. Uh, and of course, the longer you wait, the more you get paid. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So if I were to say, all right, well, I'm gonna not take it at 65, okay? You you let the company know when you wanna take the income, okay? They're not gonna hold you to any certain age. It's just important for you to fund the annuity to let it grow so that when you do decide to take the income, it's gonna be a very, very high amount. All right, so that's a big difference. Now you can see a Aspida is not the highest one for a seven-year deferral, okay? But they're in the top three, they're pretty darn close. Sentinel Security is the top one for that. So if you were to let it wait a little bit longer and you feel like I probably will wait longer, Sentinel Security is really good right now. You can see they're followed closely by F&G, and, and then of course Aspida, NASA, Vestas Heritage, North American, and so on. And so that's not bad, $64,000 a year. Well, again, what if I'm married, okay? Well, if I'm married, let's take a look at it. And let's say my wife, let's say she's, She's a year younger than me, she's 59, okay? I still wanna wait till I am 67 because I want a full social security benefit, but I also wanna get a little bit more of my annuity, but I want her to be covered too. Okay, well, that goes down a little bit. You can see that the highest income I could get is 58,000 now jointly, okay? And then you can see Sentinel Security is the top one for that, followed closely by Aspida. So it's really important. I hope you can see how important it is to do proper planning in the beginning. If you could do it earlier rather than later and let that income benefit grow for your annuity, you're just gonna you're just gonna get more income. So, and a lot of people can do that. Some people can't. Some people say, you know, I need income right now, and, that, and that's fine. We find the annuity that will pay the highest amount right now, and of course, the annuity company knows they're gonna be paying your income payments much much longer. Um, but if you want to do some type of laddering strategy and you're thinking maybe I want to activate some extra income later on, I want to activate income from one annuity right now and then maybe activate some extra income you know, five, six, seven years from now to kind of give me a raise, you can do that. You can fund both of them right now, take immediate income from one of them, and then take uh, a much higher income from the same principle um, from you know from a one that is deferred because you allow that income benefit to grow. Yeah, they works really, really well. Anyways, this example is just specifically for 65. A lot of people are hitting that age and they want to know how much income can I get at age 65? And how much can I get if I'm 65 and I, and I were to um, fund an annuity right now? How much can I get at 65 if I, and I were to fund an annuity earlier? Okay, what is the power of deferral? Okay, so if you wanna play with these numbers yourself, go right on ahead. You'll notice on my website, johnstevenson.com, you will be able to actually go into my annuity calculator and play with these. And it'll give you um, 
the highest pay payouts right now. So, and of course, if you want to schedule a call with me, there is a link below this video. You notice there is a link to my calendar. Go ahead and click on that link, get in my calendar and let's talk. Let's talk about exactly what you're looking for. I'm not gonna try to hard sell you or anything. I'm just gonna answer your questions and, and show you what is available. And, and of course, uh, at that point, you'll be able to decide what is best for you. So anyways, hope that helps. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Like the video content? Please share your thoughts on the comment tab. Would love to hear from you and answer any questions that you have.